How do you get the trust of somebody? Because it's one thing for Kim to say, hey, David, let's work on this book together. But it's another thing to talk to someone and they have to reveal some things that maybe most people don't know about them or they've kept to themselves as a writer. Yeah. And it's also for expiring writers. How do you get the trust of someone who's needed for your book or whatever you're writing when they're not really the main subject of your of your piece? Well, I have to say that. Um, There isn't any easy answer, uh, but over the years, what I've learned is to express my love of the project. Well, but like, first of all, the first thing I told Kim's mom was, listen, I love Kim. I love your son. I love his story. Um, and I appreciate your speaking to me. Um, and so, I, I, you know, I try to come from a place of gratitude and love. Um, I no, that sounds corny, but I think if you come as the cold journalist, okay, I'm here to ask you certain questions. Uh, one through 10 is when did you become an alcoholic? When, you know, blah, blah, blah. It ain't going to work. I mean, in other words, you, you, if you come with an, and, and I'm telling the truth. I, I mean, when, when I tell her I love your son, I do love Kim and I do love his music and I am honored to um, be able to help him tell a story. So, it's not jive. I mean, I, and it's not a pitch. I'm just, I, I try not to be ashamed of expressing how I really feel. And even though sometimes it sounds corny and sometimes people are embarrassed by their true feelings, I think the more we express our true feelings, the more responsive the people are. And then you get them to open up their heart because you've opened up your heart. Mm -hmm. Another, um, I wouldn't say device because that sounds too uh, calculating. Yeah, too yeah, yeah. too manipulative. But yeah, another thing I do is when I um, sense that my interviewee is reluctant to speak about intimate things that I want to hear about, I'll speak about my own life and my own relationship to my mother. And I say, I know this is tough um, to, to be a mother and a son because I remember the time my mother, you know, caught me getting high and it was blah, 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 blah. So in other words, if I come to them, I, I try to um, serve myself up as an example of how I want them to speak. I, I try to be um, um, a living example of how I would like them to respond to me. And, and if the more vulnerable, so it all comes down to, you know, be vulnerable, be emotionally forthcoming, be loving, be patient, be kind, be aware of the fact that the first interview may not happen. In other words, I, I think even in the case of Kane's mom, who's also very shy and also doesn't, you know, isn't that forthcoming in the beginning. I think our early interviews were fairly short because I realized I needed more time and she needed more time. But then once we got going, I mean, it was great. She was incredible. And she's, you know, like him, you know, highly intelligent and deeply introspective and um, uh, became his sort of role model in a certain way of what it meant to get into rehab and to stay in rehab and to, um, you know, hook up <clears throat> with a higher power in an unorthodox way because the church they went to was, was, was um, not a typical church. It was kind of a new agey church. So um, the answer to your question is, uh, um, be loving. I, I, I know that sounds, <laughs> I don't think you're going to read it in a textbook, but it certainly worked for me, you know, I, and, and also you would be surprised how many artists, I mean, I remember when I first met Ray Charles was the, the first 
time I had to convince an artist to let me write his life story. This is 47, 48 years ago. Mm-hmm. And I remember just telling him, man, you kill me, man. I mean, you, I mean, I, 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 I can't believe, you know, I just love the way you sing. Uh, it, it, it makes me crazy. You know, I mean, I was just forthcoming and he liked hearing. I mean, who doesn't, who doesn't like hearing that? Um, and it was the truth. You know, I felt like I was working with, you know, Mozart or somebody, you know, um, so, so, so that I think um, it's, it's this, 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 this whole music thing, Kevin, is very emotional and soul music, which is, you know, what we love so much in its various forms means exposing your soul, you know, and so if you're going to do a book about soul music, you better be a soulful writer you better expose your soul as you go does i don't know if that makes any um sense no, to you. 